So, um, welcome, everybody, to uh, Dwarf Fortress Monday. So, uh, here's the plan today. Um, we've been working on our pirate ship for quite some time. Last week, we, uh, we did a adventure mode thing using the same world, and we visited our pirate ship. Well, today, I want to complete the pirate ship. Whether we get invaded by things or not, um, if we if we don't get invaded by like the undead or something, then we'll make we'll create our own fun at the end. But I really want to get this pirate ship done. Um, I said this before, but what I really want the thing to be able to do is basically a self sufficient boat um, where everything is. We have that little like fortress kind of thing, dock pier, I suppose, uh, off the, on the coast there. I'd like to get all of that on the boat. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Maybe we can make a second boat for like the tavern. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But I do want to get everything onto the boat. Nothing off of it. Um, we're gonna have a couple challenges, but we'll see what we can do. Um, so let's go ahead and get in there. Is everything okay? Everyone can hear me okay? I don't have music playing yet, but. I should start up here in just a second. So we're going to go back to Smaxmo, the the world of Smaxmo, and we're going to um, reclaim our pirate ship. Can you turn a little bit so you get out of the window? Maybe, maybe a little bit. And a lot of time has passed. So even though we just we just ended the pirate ship two weeks ago, um, we played three adventures. So that's like. What, does it advance two weeks every time, I think? So that's like a month and a half. So we want to reclaim, 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 yeah, reclaim this one. So that's Butsifon. You know, actually, um, well, I'll do it later. I also want to abandon the other one. Because I want just the only Dwarven Forts in this world going to be the ones that I created. Which, technically, I did create Ryzenrith, but it was kind of a buggy fort. But yeah, so we're going to take over uh, the pirate ship. Uh, e, on retire. And let's see what uh, what hideous things the, uh, the AI have done to this place. There's our music. Where is... Um, not this one. Oh, we're back at Phoeb with Phoebus, by the way. Phoebus is the best. That was my... Music was a little quiet last time. So it was like 1.5. You know, I meant to. Hey, Solo Dog. Um, I, I meant to get some like nice sea shanties in for this since it's our final pirate day, and I didn't do it. Dang it. You have returned? How have your stu uh, sturdy charges fared in your absence? Have they gone on adventurers or moved on to richer delving at new frontier settlements? Perhaps they are all still here, unwilling to leave the magnificent fortress you prepared for them. Deep underground, the promise of treasure and the thrill of overcoming danger have lured you back to this place. Will you strike the earth again? Um, okay. Uh, well, first thing I noticed, there's people in the moat, and there's also dead people in the, <laughs> in the mo uh, yeah. Um, they can climb out of there. There's, um, this moat maybe have been a bad idea. <laughs> Werefish. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see whether everything, everything is okay. You know, another thing I was thinking, there's our ghost that would join us on our adventures, but didn't actually go anywhere. Um, if I remove this pier, the whole thing's gonna go crashing into the sea, isn't it? Because that's the only thing that's, that's connecting it to land. <laughs> um, okay, so everything... How many dwarves do we have here? We have 75. I don't remember what we left off with. We have... Looks like we have three undead folks around. Um, wait? Why? What? Um... What does this mean? Do we have like a riot on on board the ship? So, um, I mean, a few of these folks are guests, but basically everyone else are hostile. This guy, even this guy, he's hostile, but he's a current resident. He lives here, but he hates everything. The, all the humans and elves, well, not all of them, but most of the humans and elves are, are hostile. Why? Or is missing Frank? <laughs> um. What was that? We have, and anyway, we have all these other guys. Now, let's see. Let's like, for instance, Jack. Is Jack? He's not in others. Who are all these people? Oh, wait. 
Third. I'm so confused on what's happening. Hey, Tabris and Black Aries card. Is that, is that, do I say it right? Yeah, let me know if I say it right. I say it all the time, but I don't know if I say it right. Are all of these un, uh, these hostile ones downstairs? I think they are. What is going on here? Like, there's a goblin right there. Well, yeah. right here. Goblin, a goblin poet. There's all this like clothing down here and people and loads of water. How do you get down? How do you get down here? Where's the stairs? And there's a dead. There's a dead dwarf. Ubel is down here. And you just never know when you get, what you're going to get whenever you reclaim a fort. It's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> uh, how do you get down here? Where's the stairs? Let's zoom out here. Where are my stairs? Right here. Okay. Uh, let's... Zoom in over here. Uh, okay. Okay, so there's the there's the stairs down. We're in fortress mode. Uh, so did we create this like ocean down here? I don't know. You know, last time we. I don't think so. No, there's no way we create. There's no way. We have all this water like pouring out though, but it hasn't gotten very far. From the last time we reclaimed, all this water just sort of appeared. But now there's just like a band of hostile people downstairs. Um, I don't think anything. Well, I don't even actually. I don't, I don't know. Is any of these? Are any of them upstairs? Are they all downstairs? Are they all just downstairs and angry about? See that the lady consort. She's down here. What is going on? And this guy with a stupid hat. Oh, this tile set's so much better. I missed it. Um, no, you guys aren't hostile, are you? Speak cut. The artist. Look at them all. There's so many of them. Um, we want to find... What's fine? Speak cut's not even in here. Is he a citizen? No. Who is this guy? Oh, S-P-E. There is. There's two people named Speakut. They're both guests. All right. Um, well, we're going to unpause, I guess, and just sort of see what happens. I'm thinking maybe I should call the military in. They can sort of come stand in here. There's our well. There's a dwarf in the bottom of it, of course. This place is just, like, overflowing with non-dwarves. Why is this black? So we're going to call both of them to come move and stand over here. Just in case there's something crazy going on. So let's unpause and we'll see what happens. I'm going to have lots of announcements. Somebody's horrified. Well, there's still ghosts hanging around. Okay, I don't hear any, any fighting. I don't know why that tile is not working. Tons of people are visiting us. Okay, so... Um, for, for the boat. Now, um, somebody told me, and I was going to look it up and I forgot. I, I tend to believe them, though. That... <laughs> That's an excellent question. Um, the reason that I couldn't grow food down here is not because it was roofed, but because technically this is an ocean biome. Um, and you can't grow food in an ocean biome. It's like no, no type of food will grow in that sort of biome. So it just doesn't allow you to, to grow there. Um, if that's the case, that means we, we won't be able to grow on, on the boat. Um, we're going to test this theory though. And, um, other thing is the well. So those are the two things we certainly, we need. If we want to be self-sufficient on the boat, those are the two things we need. We need, we need water and we need food. Uh, food is much more important because food requires, uh, food is necessary for, 
looking okay. Yeah. Uh, food is necessary for beer, and uh, of course that's very important. So let's try something. We're gonna make a zone here. And I think we just need to do it like that. And we just say pond. I'm gonna say make it is pond. Okay. And I think we already have our water source. Am I right? I mean, we can grab water from well that's this is seawater. We can grab water from our well. Where's our well? Does this count as a water source? I think it does. I think they're smart enough to know. I also have it down here. They can grab it, but we think, let's just mark it just in case. Oh, maybe not. If I just highlight it, it's free. Let's we'll see what happens. Cancel the pickup equipment. Uh, mismatch, mismatch, mismatch. I mean, you know, I had a lot of dwarfs that I from YouTube that people from YouTube that wanted dwarf names. I did not write them down. Um, I'll put them. I apologize if I, if you were one of those. I will put you on the next fort. I'll put you in there. I don't have the name list. Look at how many people are just stuck in this moat here. What is going on? Why are people so stupid? Um. Okay. So the um. Oh, we have another ghost has risen. Tutus. Uh, our goal today, we've got, uh, we got, you know, the, for the, the time of the stream, we're going to complete our boat. That is number one thing. Um, the number two thing is we want to get everything that is not on the boat onto the boat. So it's a self-sufficient boat. Uh, number three, well, that's it. Those are the two things. Uh, number three, at the end of this, this is going to be the last day of, of the boat. So if we, if we don't get attacked by something horrific or uh, have some sort of door fortress fun, we're going to create some fun. So to complete the boat, um, we're going to see about people putting some water in here. And I think actually, oh, here we go. We got to, you know, it, it's working. Okay, so now we've got water there. So we should be able to build a farm here. Okay. We can actually stop throwing the water on it now. So we'll see if we can grow things there. If we can, then that means we can turn something into a farm. If if we can, what we could do is we could just turn this area into our farm. Um, I mean, we put it upstairs, I suppose. But no, that's fine. We'll put it there. Why is there a hole in the roof? Is there a floor there? Is he upstairs? Oh yeah, okay, he's upstairs. Okay. And, um, okay. I had a statue out here, but some jerk came and moved it around. And there's just like, there's just coins laying all over the place. Why, why, why? Um, all right, whatever. Let's see, wall. We're gonna put our walls. Oh, wait, this is where we had our statues, right? Right, 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 right. So let's build our statues here. Put one there. We have the one marble statue. I need another one. I want a statue. Make it out of rock. Make me two of them. Okay, I have all my... Oh, look at all this stuff. What? 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 We have a king? <laughs> uh, okay. Anybody in chat want to be the king? Right now it's Seabrick. Or Queen, sorry, Queen. I apologize. Kylas. Uh, I think some of these got filled in. I don't remember. I, I, I didn't set any of these. A lot of these just got marked. Jay Stank is the only person that has anything. Um, oh, right. We have a Queen. That's fantastic. Your deity is Limul Zanur. Limul Zanur. How can be someone be so consumed by hate? <laughs> Interested after watching Warframe? Horrified after seeing Reg die. Limul died. What happened? Now, you know, one of them... I know I killed one of them on Adventure Mode. It was just a stupid elf, though. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, Worshipper of the Golden Heart. She's a citizen of the Mansion of Dawns. Queen of the Mansion of Dawns. She was the former outpost liaison of the Mountain of Dawns. 
did all this happen? How do you uh, open up Legends mode in uh, in here? Let me save real quick. Anyone remember the hotkey? The the DF hack thing? It's Legends dash mode? I'm gonna look it up because I want to I'm very curious as to what happened here. DF hack legends mode in fortress mode. Hey Tintin. Open slash legends. Okay. Open dash legends. Which one's this one? I did start a brawl. You think that's the... Um... Oh! Is that why everyone hates me now? Did it, like, start... Would that be why? I wasn't a dwarf, though. We want... To look at... Us. Go to the bottom here. Uh, okay, so we started the fort in 187. That's when we founded Drilled Fountain. Um, and then we went until... There's Seabrick. Seabrick became the Outpost Liaison in 88. 188. Um, and that's... So that was um, before we lost the last time. The Wondrous Spots attacked us by the Necromancer, Rhett, with the attack. And that's what basically defeated us the first time. And then, the Flag of Vowels, Mainstream Zones, founded Coal Scar. What? Flag of Vowels of the Mainstream Zones, at the settlement of Coal Scar, regained their sense after an initial period of questionable judgment. What does that mean? Okay, so there we, there's where we came back in 189. I don't know what this is. Do we... <laughs> I don't know what this means. Uh, the named creed construct of the Mansion of Dawn's launch an expedition to reclaim Drilled Fountain. That's when we, we came back to the pirate ship. Uh, visited the named concrete... I don't know what that means either. Merchants of the Mansion of Dawn's visited the named construct at Drilled Fountain. The named creed construct, is that our new name? I guess that must be our new band name. Actually, I never looked and saw what our, our people's name was. That's a stupid name. Um, okay, we got a... Kosoth is a new liaison. Oh, Black Aries card left the Mansion of Dawns. And then he came back and became a member of the Mansion. You left, and then you came back. Cupo left and came back. Shaquille left and came back. Um, Id left and came back. Oops. Um... The name Creed Construct of the Mansion of Dawns at the Cinema of Drill Fountain regained their senses after another period of questionable judgment. Oh, that means... I think that means the fort was retired. I don't know. I don't know. Taken by a mood to act against their battle judgment at Drilled Fountain. Nothing tells me about, like, the queen showed up. Normally does that, doesn't it? What's my queen's name? Seabrick? Uh, we might be in here. This one's going to be kind of crazy, though. There's the mood. <laughs> Can I search? No. There it is again. Regain their senses. Another period of questionable judgment. I'm not sure what that means. There's just a lot of things happening. Um, so I don't know. No, oh, but anyways, we have a queen. That's cool. Alright. Okay, so what were we doing before? So we, we were testing our planting and see if we can plant here. 
We still have lots of, of hated folk. We have 298, so our frame rate is horrific. Opa? What's an Opa? I thought it said Oprah when I first saw it. There's an angry Oprah out there. It's like a frog. Opa! Oh my! <laughs> it's this. This is an Opa. Look at the size of that thing! <laughs> Where are these things found? Known as Moonfish. The Southern Ocean. I think it's ter that's terrifying. Where is it? In the Southern Ocean. Where's the Southern Ocean? Oh, there's one in... Okay. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> that's terrifying. Okay. Uh, no, f oh, but, but it's a fish. Can we fish it? Look at my boat. There it is. Getting so sidetracked here. Okay, so our, uh, looks like our farm is looking okay. Hey, Lucas. Look, we can grow. We can grow. Ah! Excellent! That's fantastic. That's, that's, that's really good. Um, yes. I'm very excited about this. Uh, okay, so we're going to build a wall. Right here. No, we can't because we got this stupid floor. Uh, okay, so we need to remove the the stupid floor. We're gonna do it like that, and then like that, and we're gonna put a wall up. Then we're gonna put a door, and then we're gonna just flood this place with lots of water, and then we'll have a proper farm. Excellent. Now the next thing we need to do is get water here. Here's what I'm thinking about the water. Um, we can build, hey Leon, we can build some sort of, um, what do you want to call it? Almost like a chimney, I guess, a basin where we're going to build out, build out from our boat with like a little box and then a tube going up. And, uh, the only way I know of filling it though is going to be using buckets. We use buckets. We just fill from our well and just dump it into there until eventually it fills up. We have a ghostly dwarven child floating around here. Yeah, you know, we have some statue things. We should probably do that. Uh, what are they called? Slab. Alt S. I kind of want to have like a graveyard out here. Something like out here. We'll put it out here by the trade depot so anyone wants to come trade with us, they, they can look and pay their respects. We have nine of them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't put them out there yet. I got to engrave them. Yeah, slabs. For, that's what the Opa is saying. Slabs for everyone. You get slabs. And you get slabs. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to do an order. What do you mean, no link shop? What does that mean? Engrave? No. Slab. I don't want to construct the slab. I want to... What do I want to call it? What do you call it? You're over... Here you are. You know what? I'll just do it this way. Engrave Memorial Slab. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need a lot of them. No, not, not two discs again. He doesn't get two of them. Cancel. We definitely, we certainly need to get one for Frank. Poor Frank. Does anybody, do I recognize any of these? We'll get, at least, if you have a name, you can at least have one first. Uh, Reg, I think, might be a ghost. There's another Reg. How many Regs are in this fort? Who's death? Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we'll engrave some slabs and we'll throw them out there. Um, did anybody want to be the queen? I wasn't watching. Oh, you know who needs to be the queen. Sorry, no one gets to be the queen. The queen is going to be... Yeah, we're going to make a graveyard. I think that'd be fancy. I'm getting super sidetracked. So, I want to get this fort done today. So, I'll do my best to, uh, 
Stay on track here. Hey, poet. Poet, are you in my fort yet? I don't think I have you in here. All right, so what was my queen's name? My queen was Seabreck. There you are. There's the queen. Seabreck. You're going to be uh, Cog. Cog the queen. Sure, Leon Dragon Cat. Is that what you want to be? Leon? If anyone wants, wants a, uh, a name, let me know. Right I'll put you in here now while I'm doing it. I'll get you someone that actually does work. Leon Dragon Cat. Okay. Most of these guys are... Uh, ooh, look at this guy. Stone detailing. Plus 13. Most of these guys are humans. I've only got a few more dwarves, though. I got what? Only four more? Five? We're about to turn on fast dwarf. Okay, so let's go ahead. Yeah, I'll get you in there. Let's do like this. And we're going to make it a pond. Is pond. Uh, we need to get this wall built quickly, though, before we start pouring water all over the place. Wall. Um, box select. Like that. Okay. Build a door. I don't have a door. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do planning mode. Oh, I need a wall. Where's mine? There it is. Why are these people so thirsty? Make me... Well, I don't need that many doors. Doors and then more blocks. And then we're going to dig out uh, over here. Why is this black? Are these people, like, stuck down here? Is there something wrong? I think maybe there is. Okay, so we'll dig a new staircase, and then we'll dig a wall like this. Just in case they are stuck down here. This might unleash the hostile people, but the hostile people are all just a bunch of bars. What are they going to do? Mazerman, you want a dwarf. You can beat this guy with the awesome stone detailing. Not Mazerman. Mazerman. Right? Okay, and then... Why are you yellow? What's the yellow mean? Skilled comedian. Alright. Dare... Honig Panda? I'm just going to call you Honig Panda. You are a comedian. You're a funny guy. Okay. And you just gave me an alert. What? I'm going to mismatch. Okay, a little bit of water is pouring in there. We can put a door in here now. Um, as soon as that water fills up the place, we can turn it into a giant farm. And, um, I know this is a little bit cheesy, but we're going to turn on Fast Dwarf Farm. So now we can get some things done. I've learned that uh, Fast Dwarf is actually kind of cool if you want to, um, like, if you want to just do build mode, it's more like a, it's like creative mode. You can turn on Fast Dwarf 2 and things are, like, built instantly. <laughs> but your dwarfs move fast, but nothing else moves fast. So it's a little bit lame. Um, I want to make, what was I making? Statues. Another statue. Oh, you. Make a statue. We got another, we need another mermaid for the front. 
And we're also going to... We need to take a look at... Um, oh, dang it. It's falling down here. Dang it. Put the wall up. Thank you. Okay, so that should spread out. Okay. There we go. Now it's working. We also need a statue in here. Why is this not why is this not happening? Oh, you know why? You know why? Because we don't have an office for him. Everyone needs an office. The king needs a throne room. We have a doctor's office. This is what is this? Is this just a This is nobody's room. I guess we can make it the king's room. The king really should sit at the front. But this belongs to Bug. Our manager. Yeah, our manager does have a room. What's he whining about? Oh wait. Bug is in here and Jay Stank is here? No. That's strange. All right, we're going to give this to Jay Stank. No, you know what? We're going to change that. This is where our king will reside for now. He can he can have this one. So we're going to assign this to... Where are you? Seabrick. No, oh, wait, wait. I changed your name. Cog. Cog the queen. There you go. And this one's going to be Cog as well. So this is for the king or queen. 